Well, where do I start? Some of you have probably noticed the big dopey German Shepherd in the background of my videos. Some of you might have noticed him struggling to get up. But I'd just like to dedicate this video to Mr. Zach, my German Shepherd. And I'd just like to say thank you for all of you that have commented all the kind comments on Mr. Zach the other day. And Welcome back to a very sad Johnny's XJ. So we've got it out in the fresh air. Let's start the frame. Got my ice cream tub. Oh my. Little rubber bits. Get on with it. Let the fun begin. Yes, as you've probably noticed, we're back in the shed because We've had our three days of sunshine and it's absolutely freezing in today. So let's carry on with the frame. This is a different day obviously. Well that's about as far as I can go with the frame today because I have worn this out and I need a new one and I've used all my crust up and I need some of that and I need one of those so we'll have to find something else to do but it is a good Good idea to put uh, rust treatment on it afterwards, especially where it's been deeply pitted. And then rub it down and put some bumper on it. Putty, you know, very fine putty. I'll show you what I mean when I get to that point was doing this yesterday but I had to stop because my wire brush went wireless so I've ordered two more of them and I can't do anything on the frame until I got two more of them 
can't sandblast it because it goes everywhere. I did try sandblasting a bit of it, but it wasn't much fun. Before I start painting, I better get rid of some of these snap bolts we got on the strip down. This one you can actually see on the other side. I'm going to try and get the mole grips on this side and pull it through this side. See what happens. There she is. Quite loose already. It is backing out on the other side. Sort of. Backing out this way, but it's a bit too tight for my fingers. Let's get groovy. Getting tight because of where I damaged it with the mold grips on the other side. So I think that's it for snap bolts on the frame apart from that one. So we've just got to wait for the drill to charge up and then we can get that one out. So what can we do in the meantime? While I'm here I'd just like to say a big massive sorry to GT's garage. Last week's XJ video about the brakes and stuff he left two lovely comments and somehow they got removed meaning I must have removed them by accident instead of approving them I must have it removed so I'm sorry about that mate keep up the good work with your video channel GT GT capital G capital T small s garage if you want somebody else to watch go and watch him he's doing an xj600 and among, among other stuff got some nice new shiny clutch levers the cylinders looks nice with that bit on the top engine bolt uh, whatever that is oh, it's an indicator uh, Bolt, nut, bolt, bolt, muddy, bolt, lead nipples, yes what do you want, you come to dirty my camera, lens, food in there. 
there's the rest of my spring arm bearing that I've got to put in when I put the spring arm in. So hopefully these are the right bearings. They look a bit big to me. different on me. That's the same diameter but again totally different in the depth. Oh, I just don't be right. Please be right. They might be, they must, they must be my dust seals. And how much would they do that again? 13 pound 23. Well, let's remove the VIN plate, so the VIN plate, let's remove the VIN plate so we don't get paint all over it or scratch it. George battery. <laughs> Could you believe that? Now this drill's back to it. Are you serious? Cool, after some faffing about. It was this battery. Charged it up for an hour. And then it's just, I don't know, stopped working. Lovely. I'll try again. safely removed. <laughs> okay so that's about as far as we can go with it today so I guess I'll say uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for all the comments I've been getting lately from all you guys and I'll leave you with a few memories I have of my uh, late great Mr. Zack and I'll see you again soon
Get so long.